Hi everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Today we're going to demo for you a hairdo I'm calling the Double Waterfall Braid. Double waterfall across the sky. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's so intense. So some of you will get that joke and some of you won't. Um, so it's a really great hairdo that I like a lot. It's kind of a fun twist from our original waterfall braid. So the first thing you need to be able to do is the waterfall braid in general. So if you haven't already learned how to do just the regular waterfall, go back and watch my other video and I'll put a little link to it up here somewhere and um, you can go and learn how to do this because we're using the same technique. Now, if you look at her hair, I've already done the waterfall braid just all the way. I've done it on this side and then on this side and I've put an elastic in the back connecting the two braids. And this hairdo, because you're doing the double waterfall, it is gonna take you a little bit longer. You're probably not gonna be able to complete it in five minutes. It's gonna be more like a 10 to 15, just so you know. So now to make it a double, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back underneath our original braid and we're gonna pick up some hair and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did before, <clears throat> which is start a braid. And when we pick up hair, we're just gonna go ahead and pick up hair strands from our original waterfall braid. But when you go in, you're gonna pick up those original hair strands from the first waterfall braid. Sorry. Then you're still gonna do just the regular waterfall braid. You're just gonna be picking up those second top strands from the original braid. Don't know if that's making any sense. So you can see I'm just picking up the pieces that have fallen on the first waterfall and adding them into the second waterfall. So it's basically going to take those same strands through it again. And it's going to give it a really fun, like much more sophisticated looking braid, which it really isn't. Um, but you're going to get a lot more people asking you because it looks way harder than it really is, which is always fun. Okay, so in the back, I'm just going to quickly do a quick braid just to hold this in place for a minute. So that it's not falling out. Okay, you can drop these, babe. Thank you. Hold this. And go to the other side. And do the same thing. Hold that. Pick up the hair from the strand you've dropped. Sometimes I almost forget and just start going into a regular French braid. I have to like remind myself, drop that hair. It's such a habit. There you go. And last one. So now we're just going to do the same thing, kind of just braid it off a little bit. Thank you. And I'm actually going to take it and try to rubber band it almost right on top of the original rubber band so you can't even see the first one. And then, excuse me, have a brush. brush out the hair very softly that we worked with. So it's got its nice soft waves. And even if you wanted to right here, if you didn't like the way the ponytail looked, just do a quick, you know, wrap around with the hair and secure it with a little bobby pin right underneath. And there you go, the double waterfall braid. 
Don't forget to subscribe.